Hey everybody, this is John Lamazdi, and I am working on a project that's um, a lot longer than I usually uh, spend on a sketch, but I'm going to use it as a sketch. And um, the reason I'm, I'm showing it to you mid-project is because I spent a lot of time on it already, and um, I have a couple things I need to do and I thought that those would be good learning opportunities. You'll notice that uh, my Inkscape looks different tonight. The reason is that I have high contrast icons turned on. So uh, it's the same application, same functions. It just has black background so that I can see the icons a little bit better because of uh, my cataracts. So uh, this was the version of the logo that I sent to uh, the project manager and she gave me some feedback she said that uh, we had had a different agreement on what the title of the event was instead of battle on the bayou it's going to be the bayou brawl and so i'm going to make that change and also uh, on the bottom here where it says ala battle decks 2011 she felt that it was a little bit hard to read which i agree with so uh, i'm going to make those two changes and show you how that works. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, grab this text. You can see that I have two objects of type path and layer layer one. This isn't actually text anymore. In fact, it's uh, path. And I'm not going to destroy it. I'm just going to set it aside um, if for no other reason than if I need to use it for reference, I can. Um, over here I have a font that I typed out all the letters on the keyboard and um, chose that font so that I could grab those icons. That's where I got these little uh, printer marks and also where I got these fleur-de-lis that are in the background. So at any rate, I'm going to go and uh, choose the text tool. I'm going to click in the area and I'm going to type uh, the Bayou Brawl. I'm going to make it white so that I can see it. I'm going to, uh, holding down control, size it up to just the right size. Just about like that. Now I'm going to choose my uh, text and font dialog with that text selected so that I can um, go through my options for the font. And I was working on this uh, earlier today with a different machine so quite honestly I'm not positive that that font is installed here so hopefully it will be. That's a nice one right there. Many of these are good choices for this. I uh, chose an especially um, decorative font because it's New Orleans themed and the direction I got was to make it um, similar to uh, New Orleans styled sort of uh, frou-frou uh, style. There we go. 
So I'm going to apply that and close it. I'm going to size this up again. I'm going to bring it down in between these two characters. And it is not exactly the same font, but um, I like it quite a bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to convert this from text to path, and I'm going to convert it all to a single path. I'm going to take a shortcut with this and just do a control shift plus and now that's a single path. Then I'm going to uh, go into my menu, my path menu, and choose path effect editor. That's going to open up on the side here. I'm going to add a bend effect. And when I choose the bend effect and apply that to a path, I get the ability to bend the text. So let me um, center the page. And uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So now that I'm happy with that, I don't really need the bend effect anymore, but instead of removing the bend effect, what I'm going to do is uh, convert that object to path again, uh, which is in the path menu up above where you can see, but it's path object to path. So now that is a single path with no bend effect present, and so there's less processing that has to happen. Um, now what I'm going to do is just move this back down into place. And uh, I'm also going to change the color. So I'm going to choose my dropper tool. I'm going to select a color that I already have on screen. And then I'm going to select that text. I'm going to duplicate it. And the duplicate, I'm going to make um, a very particular purple. And I could do it with the fill and stroke dialog. What I'm going to do in this particular case is I'm just going to select the purple that I already have on screen using the dropper. And uh, for a final touch, I'm going to size up the um, the, the outline of the, the path there. The way that I do that is control shift parens, parentheses, and you see how it gets thicker there. So control shift zero, for example, makes that shape thicker. I'm going to move that down below the text. Now you see it has sort of a glow effect, just like down below here. So that is finished for this text I'm gonna do exactly the same thing but I'm gonna bend downwards so again go into my text tool click into the canvas and type in 
Ala Battle Decks 2011. I'm going to make it white. Whoops. Not Natal Decks. Battle Decks. Um, I'm going to size it up. Control Shift Resize. I'm going to go into my text and font dialog and look through my fonts for something more readable and substantial. Now, I, th I think that looks really good, but it really doesn't have anything to do with um, the New Orleans theme. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to size that up. I'm going to uh, control shift plus to make it a path. I'm going to apply a bend with my path effect editor. There are other things I could add. I could do, for example, an envelope deformation, but a bend is what I want. Now that I have that bend, I'm going to bring it down just a bit. I'm going to close that to see how it looks. I like it. Um, I'm going to convert that to a path using path object to path. I'm going to select it, do a little bit of a rotation, I'm going to duplicate it, the duplicate I'm going to use the dropper to set it. I'm going to control shift zero to size up that path. I'm going to move it downwards. I'm going to take these uh, printer marks, make them a little bit brighter, like a bright white, full white. I think I might do that with this path as well. So it really stands out. I'm going to grab both of these objects, size them up a bit. I'm going to take this mark and move it a little bit more in keeping with the uh, text there. I'm going to turn this just a bit, move it a little bit closer.
You can see over here I actually pulled over a jester from this font and added a uh, trumpet to his hand. And then um, I really just thought maybe it was getting a little bit too, a little bit too much. So you have to know when to say when. So I think that uh, my project manager is going to be happy with this. I hope you're happy with it. I hope I showed you some technique to give a little bit of flair to your text. And um, this is a technique I use all the time. Thanks a lot. I will talk to you again soon.